Hi, my name is Mark Jacobson. I'm a professor at Stanford University in California. And I study uh, air pollution, climate, weather, and clean energy sources. I think of clean energy as energy that results in no pollution of either the air or the water or anything else. So examples of clean energy are wind power, solar power from sunlight, and wave power where you take advantage of energy in the waves on top of the ocean. The advantage of them being natural sources of energy, uh, the main advantage is that they are renewable. Um, when you extract energy from the wind, uh, the different forces in the atmosphere can generate more wind, so we can replenish that wind. Uh, the disadvantage is that we can't really control exactly when we receive uh, sunlight or wind. It's not possible on the Earth for wind to just disappear because uh, winds are driven by differences, what's called air pressure, over the Earth. When there's a difference in air pressure from one place to the next, then that will result in a wind. Most important thing that air pressure varies based on is temperature. So if you have a temperature, a cold temperature in one location and a warm temperature in a different location, you'll get a temperature difference and that will result in a pressure difference and that pressure difference will result in a wind. Winds right now are used a lot for wind turbines, which generate electricity, and wind mills, which generate what's called mechanical energy. But they're also historically been used to move for transportation, to move ships across the ocean. There are a lot of places in the world uh, where the winds are fast enough uh, for electricity to be generated at a cost effectively. We only really need maybe about 1% of the land worldwide to generate enough winds to power the world, half the world for all purposes. Now wind turbines do have some impacts on the environment, but they're much less than the impacts of these other energy technologies. So for example, one thing that uh, people are always concerned about is you know, how many birds die due to wind turbines because wind turbines are basically have a blade that's spinning and sometimes birds will run into those blades. Well, it turns out that although wind turbines do kill birds, uh, they kill about one-tenth the number of birds as a coal-fired power plant plus the mining of coal or of natural gas mining in use. Right now, the world is going through a transition or a change where uh, the world is going closer to more and more clean, renewable energy. In the past, for a long time, we had coal, oil, gas, and wood were the main sources of energy, but all of these sources of energy caused pollution, both air pollution that people breathe and cause health problems, and also climate pollution, where it damaged the climate, making the earth warmer. Uh, so now we're in the age, a new age, where we're converting to clean, renewable uh, energy. So this is really the clean, renewable energy revolution age. And in this age, we're going to eliminate air pollution. In the new age of clean energy, we will use electric cars. So these are cars that have a lot of batteries in them, and the electricity for those batteries is obtained from clean wind, water, and solar power. For heating and cooling, we also use electricity. All processes, in fact, would be electrified so that we do not burn anything anymore. Well, it would be a great experience for all of you kids out there to try to build a simple wind turbine or understand how to build a solar panel and maybe to understand what goes into it. I'm trying to work with your hands to make something or to understand it better is always the, one of the better ways of learning.